Everybody get up. I'm the Body Mechanic NYC. What's up, Body Mechanic? I don't know. I still feel like a... Floating. Floating. <laughs> Holy <laughs> Jesus Christ. Talk about that experience, Body Mechanic. Huh? Talk about that experience. Are you feeling like there's an echo going on? I feel like I'm in outer space. I love it. I feel like I'm in... I like, like a, hearing my voice. I feel like I'm in deprivation air tank. It sounds like reverb. Yes, It's yes. all good. That's how it sounds on Oprah? Yeah. I don't know. I think in the Oprah studio it sounds like that. They're getting us ready? We're ready. So, Chella and the Body Mechanics journey started out yesterday. We went to that Naval conference, when, about five months ago? Yeah, I think so. And it's a, it's a wellness conference. And there we met Kevin, Better Life, Mr. Shark Tank. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, Better Life. Right, And And before we met him, we stopped at his booth. The company is called Fountain. Right. They, 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 they are the creators of Kangen water, which is uh, high in pH, and the, uh, the toxins are taken out, and apparently the water is incredible. And we were offered an opportunity to go to one of their facilities and experience some of the things that they offer to the general population, like ionic foot baths. They do colonics. They do a bunch of different things. We'll probably have a show and talk about them at a later date. Oh, yeah. But more importantly, we met a, we met a gentleman there and we started talking, and I noticed that he had a couple of you know, small deficiencies. He was a little dehydrated. And I um, started talking to him and told him about our show, you know, Body Shop TV, and then our radio show, which is on Friday. It's from 5 to 7 prime time, but that's neither here nor there. And um, I told him that our TV show was in Deer Park. And he said, wow, my buddy has, this, has, this, um, has a business, and it's a flotation business. And as he started to explain to me, I remembered, and not to put my age out there. Um, but you always do. Right. There was a movie called Altered States. It came out about 30 years ago. And basically, this man would get inside of this tank, and it's a deprivation tank where they eliminate sight and sound and touch. And all of a sudden, your brain has, doesn't have a body. So then instead of being outside in that external environment, the real journey is inside here. So he was telling me about this guy's place, and I said, you know what? I have to experience this right now. So we took a ride. We, oh, we gave him a call, and this cool dude answered the phone. His name was John. You're going to meet him today. I can't What's wait up, for John? you to meet him. What's up, John? What's up? And um, uh, we booked an appointment, and... I experienced my first deprivation chamber yesterday. Wait, and can I say something? The minute we walked in yesterday, the energy and the ambiance of that place was like all over me. I know. I was feeling it. You know what's funny? It was like a flashback because when I went to Thailand, like every dwelling you go into, you had to take your shoes off. I got my shoes on now. God, I'm feeling too cold. Let me take them off. Ah, I feel free. I'm a second here. Ah, ah, yes. So. We took our shoes off and went inside, and this young gentleman was there, and his mother and father were there. He, it's a new business, and um, I had an opportunity. He explained to me everything about what you need to do before you go into the tank. I had to shower and explain to me what happens when you're inside the tank. I'm not going to get too far into particulars. I'll let him explain to you. I don't want to steal any glory or anything, but let me tell you something. I'm 52 years old. I've done a million plus things, and before I die, I'll do another 15 million things. Out of all the things up to this point, sex is spectacular, looking at hot women, skydiving, scuba diving is great, but this tank is the final frontier. <laughs> Crazy. I, I can't even put it in words. It's, I can't wait to do it. I can't wait for Chella to do it, but Chella couldn't because... um. Because I got my hair colored. Yes. So... Because I the, can do that. Because the caveman's journey is all about raw, natural, no toxins on right. your body, let and, your body thrive. And the diva is full of chemicals and toxins, and I have to wait a while before I can go in the tank. Well, yes. So when I come back, I'm going. But let me tell you, you know, if you know anything about the body mechanic, I am pretty, pretty relaxed. Most people that meet me, sometimes they think I'm comatose because I don't get overexcited about my external, you know, 
external environment because I know that the journey is inside here. This tank is the epitome of that. If you are stressed, if you have pathologies, if your body is tight, if you had an argument 30 years ago, if you did this, you did that, and it's something that your body needs to shed, this is where you take it off with nothing. What? Added. Holla! <laughs> Can I get it to Nessa? Nothing Nessa? added. What's up? <laughs> so that's just a little brief description. Of, we're going to actually have the owner of the business on with us a little later. Yeah. And um, I'm truly excited about today. As a matter of fact, we did our first show with young entrepreneurs a month ago. Yeah. It was probably our best show. Yeah, Those I young really minds, enjoyed it. Hungry and curious. Yeah. So we decided that the last Saturday of each month, we're going to honor young people and entrepreneurs. So we've got a bunch of people coming in later on today. Because they are our the future. key to our future. That's right. You know. No doubt. So. And another announcement we want to make is that <coughs> Chella. <laughs> Chella is leaving the body mechanic today. She is. Going to a good place, but the body mechanic will need all the bee pollen and honey he can get and hot toddies. So, you are so funny. Chella be with us in spirit. Listen. Next Friday. Stop. Chella, are you going to call in? If you want me to, if I have time. It depends on where I am. Because without Chella, the body mechanic is only. Oh, the stop. Only body C. You seem to thrive more when I'm not around. What? You seem to be like, you know how like. How a kid, their parents leave the house and they get the house to themselves. That's how you act. No. Yes. No, like if I wasn't with Chella and I walked through a door and there was a mirror on the wall, all <laughs> I would see is my head and my feet. <laughs> you guys. I remember, I remember my first show and, and Tom <laughs> said, Tom said something about, so you're like, you know, work together. Oh, how do you do it? And Chella said, well, well, he's the head and I'm the neck. And so, I tell so the when head I walk and see that mirror head. out too, like I don't see my body. <sighs> Anyway, like pissing in the wind. Listen, what? <laughs> my, my parents live in Orlando, and I'm going to go visit them for a minute. And my father, two, three years ago, three years ago in March, in this March, had a massive heart attack and two strokes. Um, they gave him a, um, a cow's valve, and they said that this <laughs> valve stopped. No, that's a sheep. Uh, this stupid. Oh, okay. Listen, so they said that that cow's valve. Um, will only last about three years. He's been uh, thriving. He is doing well. He's walking. He is like about 95% the man that he used to be. And I haven't been there since. Wait, hold, hold on a second. A valve for his heart? The, was it the, the aorta? The aorta valve, yeah. So his, the, his, did, did, did it burst? Yeah, they replaced it. He had a massive heart attack. So he has a. Um, your, your dad doesn't have any spots on him, does he? No. Oh, okay. no, no. Like the brown cow. But he, oh. he is the $6 million man. This guy is so strong. He's 82 years old, and I'm just looking forward to going down and oh. spending some time with them. Well, I can tell he's strong because look at Chella. Whoop, Chella whoop. got strong parts. <laughs> Which ones? Uh, all the parts. <laughs> <laughs> you are so funny. No, <laughs> Don't anyway. mess with Chella. She will rip your throat out. Oh, stop. That's why I feel safe. No matter where a guy, I always start trouble. Anyway, I body got mechanic, my back. Yeah, so. you had a good week. So wait a minute. What? Well, who else are you going to see besides your dad? You didn't talk about my favorite woman. I said my parents live in Florida. Yeah, but you didn't say anything about you know who. Who my mom? Yes. Your favorite? The <laughs> famous, famous for <laughs> gas. Yes. Hold on. Let's see. Yeah, I, I started I'm with see. F, right? First? Yes. Famous. Okay, I got you. I did that right. He's a troublemaker. What's up, the bottom? Yeah, I got some friends down there, and I'm going with a really good friend of mine, so we're going to have fun. Yeah? Yeah. I see you got your bathing suit in your bag. Shella is not playing. She's probably going to put it on in the airport. I got a mink coat and a bathing suit. Oh, you're going to wear your bathing suit under the mink coat? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. But I hear the temperature is like... It's cold. It's cold down there. It's 60 degrees. Ah, oh, my God, that drink is so incredible. It is. I got in trouble, you, by the way. Do you like our new cups? It, our new cups? Yes. Wait a minute. I noticed something very interesting about the cup. If you folks out there, if I can get a little close-up of this, <laughs> if you folks out there can, which camera is it? Is it one, two, three, four, five, or six? Six. Oh, it's one. So I'm going to move this a little closer to you right here so you can see. That was the graphic and, error. It wasn't my so fault. So let me tell you, because Chella's like an engineer. <laughs> What happens is when you hold the cup at this angle with your right hand, what you'll notice is as I go to sip, 
Notice whose face you only see. <laughs> so Chella spent hours calculating the exact angle I so that not. she could be on the front. I tell you, it's a Fergaris trade. It's all good. Ooh, stop. That's not But at the true. end of the day, it is the body shop. This is true. And where's the body? We shop, and that's what Chella likes to do. Ah, mm. uh, <laughs> yes, our new cups are awesome. Thank you. And we have little And they'll tablets. be on sale soon, right? Yes, they will. Yeah. At a body shop near you. So I'm excited to have our guests on today. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Uh, we got young people coming in. We got entrepreneurs coming in. Yeah. Yep. And you know, the only reason why I like to highlight entrepreneurs is because I want to encourage our listeners to support them. You know, they've got great products. This guy that you went to yesterday, the flotation tank is, is, is amazing. Well, you know what? That's a very interesting concept, young entrepreneurs, because usually un young entrepreneurs are more concerned about servicing their population and giving a good product. Can I share something? Remember last night on the radio show? Yes. We called Florida to find a flotation tank in Orlando while I'm down there. Right. Because I want to bring my parents. Right. That's going to be a, a huge Are challenge. you sure cows like to float? Will you stop I'll it? Yes. My father's I'm amazing. Okay, go ahead. So anyway, we called this place, and the guy answers the phone, Sebastian. He goes, we don't have one, but I'm looking for one myself. He goes, let me do some research, and I'll get back to you. This guy doesn't even know who I am, calls me back, sends me the information, plus gives me a, a Groupon. There's one about 10 miles from my, my parents' home. Wait, did you send him a photo or something? i never seen him work so hard in my whole life. <laughs> do you know how old he is? He sounds young. Yeah, right. Yeah. Hold on. Cook yeah. Rawr, 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 yeah, yeah. I know how you do. <laughs> yeah, all right. Speaking of cougars. Yeah, coolicious. Mm -hmm. Cougar what? What are you looking at? Don't you know a cougar? Who? Your friend in North Carolina. In North Carolina? Mm -hmm. Who's that? Don't you have a cougar friend? Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, she's not a cougar. No, she's not? No. Mm, that's not what I heard. No, she's a, she's a bunny rabbit. Mm. This is different. It's a little spot. Tiny feet. Anyway, what's on the horizon for Body Shop Enterprises? Well, first and foremost, our anniversary gala. Whoop, whoop. March 6th. March 6th. Get your tickets through it's, PayPal. Yes. And um, what? Oh, our touch sensorium. Yes. Not confirmed yet. Hold on. You, you pause slightly as you stroke your hair, Chella. No, 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 because I see that Florida's calling. They can't wait till mm -hmm. I get down there. Well, why don't they just look at the show and then they'll know? Because they're not computer literate. Oh. She's 81 years old. and Let me tell you, Miss Fergaris is smarter than 50% of the, 60% of the people on the globe. She could figure it out. If the well, scandal, if you could only see scandal <laughs> on the web, she'd be like. But well, listen, <laughs> my goal this week when I go down is there. Is to educate her? I am going to force her to learn how to at least log on to our show so that she can get information first-handed, and to send emails. And what you also have to do is make sure you have like a little black cutout of cardboard so she can block the side of the screen that I'm on when she's looking. OK, I'll do it. will make it easier for her. <laughs> and then you can ship a piece to uh, whatever. Anyway, that's my goal. And also to introduce them to the flotation tank. That's going to be really, really hard. We have to pay some bills so that we can uh, Already? help with that gal. Yeah, I think so. Help with the what? The gala? gala. Yeah. <laughs> The Hilo event. Oh, the Hilo. Ah, Hilo! That's, uh -huh. our, that's our secret. Yes, our gala is March 6th at the beautiful Carlisle at the Palace in Plainview. Oh, my God. That room is awesome. It's going to be all body shop blue. You know what? We should everybody, everybody should be barefoot. We, oh. should be, we should everybody have their shoes lined up as they walk in. Oh, yeah, we could do that. Because that will force them to get manicures and pedicures and <laughs> flotation before they actually come. What do you think? <laughs> Give us a call. Today we will be highlighting entrepreneurs and young people. And we'll be right back. Hi, my name is Dr. Tom Dow. We have a multidiscipline practice in Melville and run Cockman, New York. And we treat patients with many, many different conditions, from newborns through geriatric patients with numerous different techniques. Uh, there's a technique and a, a 
type of treatment for every class of patient. We have them all here. Here's my son Thomas, also a doctor of chiropractic, working on one of our patients' cervical spine. This patient has had chronic neck pain for many, many, many years, has been to a multitude of different practitioners with little or no response. And with our specialized techniques, she has improved tremendously and continues to improve on a daily basis. Uh, we have two practices, one in Melville and one in Ronkonkoma, New York. We are a multidiscipline um, chiropractic office. Uh, what that means is we have chiropractors, massage therapists, acupuncturists, psychologists, um, all working as a team and a network of outside professionals such as orthopedists and neurologists uh, that we work hand in hand with to help determine what your injuries are and the best way to uh, treat your injuries. Um, I have the great pleasure of having my son in practice with me uh, we work hand in hand, father and son, to give our patients the best care possible um, and a staff which is loving, caring, um, and you'll never have to wait at all in our office for service. Many times patients come into our office and they have what's called a soft tissue injury. Soft tissue injuries are like scars inside your body. If you've ever been cut on the outside of your body, you get a scar. The same thing happens inside of your body to your muscles and ligaments. So our job is to determine where those are, stretch the muscles, adjust the vertebra back into their correct position, and then refortify the normal structure with um, exercise. That's what we do best, and I hope someday you'll come see us at one of our two offices. Thank you. YesWeCare.net is a 501c3 charity that provides help to veterans and their families. Please visit YesWeCare.net and donate in any way you can by purchasing our beautiful frame prints or relaxation CDs and DVDs, even smooth jazz CDs. YesWeCare.net. Remember, our troops are on their way home. They need all the support they can get. YesWeCare.net.
You know you already want a Toyota, but when you want more from your Toyota store, you want Smithtown Toyota, where every Toyota comes with Smithtown Toyota's Toyota for Life program, giving you lifetime New York State inspections, lifetime 10% discounts on all parts and service, two years of complimentary oil changes, two years of scheduled maintenance, and more, all at no cost to you, plus low clear-out deals on every Toyota in stock. Get more from your Toyota store. Hurry to Smithtown Toyota. Welcome back to Body Shop TV. My name is Chella. And I am the Body Mechanic NYC. And we have an awesome guest this morning. We have John from Infinite, which is the largest floating tank on Long Island. Yeah, float rooms. They're different than your typical tanks, but we'll, we'll get into so it. So the Body Mechanic was talking about his experience yesterday. He had an amazing experience. So tell us more about this device. Okay. Um, well... The tank or the room, so what I have is um, a little different. So it's a large room, like a bathroom-sized room, that's got 11 inches of water, and about 1,200 pounds of Epsom salt is dissolved into the water. So when you lay in the water on your back, like if you're floating in a pool, you're floating. There's no trying, you're floating on this water. That's amazing. Yeah, so it, it's really, really good for the body. Um, now from there, the cells of the body are actually um, now able to work on sore muscles and injuries and ailments and other things like that um, since there's no gravity. Right now we're fighting gravity. Mm -hmm. Our bodies and our necks are holding our heads up, which is eight pounds. So. I can feel like my hair is being pressed against Me my too. head. Me <laughs> too. It's holding my exactly. sparkles together. <laughs> yeah, right? It so. pressed your hair down a little bit too, uh, because <laughs> yesterday it was... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I did. I put gel in my hair yesterday. They saw me. I had, I had a nice afro going. Is that but, fountain uh, gel you use? It's not fountain gel. Fountain gel. Fountain gel. Chella, you're in trouble, man. <laughs> Can't take her anyway. I'm sorry. That's nah, okay. Um, all right, so back to the tanks. Um, besides the whole gravity thing, the water's heated to skin temperature. So, um, you know, when you're floating in the water, after a few minutes, you don't really know where your body is or where the water is. It's kind of just like blends together. Um, so from there, you actually have a switch in the room that turns off the lights. Um, so now there's no light. There's, you don't feel anything. It's soundproof. There's no gravity. It's called a sensory deprivation room or, or tank. Right. Um, so it takes away all those external stimuli and allows you to be in there with just your mind. And which stimuli is that? Um, Does well, it take away? The senses and gravity. So there's, there's nothing. There's, you know? no, there's no sight. There's no sight. There's no, no hearing. No hearing. Um, there's no sound. And so like, no you like this? Yeah, no. Well, when you float in there, because you put in earplugs, right, first. Um, so that actually helps with the soundproof. But the room itself is soundproof. Um, so with the earplugs and the whole soundproofing of the room, you're not hearing anything that's going on. You're in there with just yourself. Um, so the only thing virtually you may hear is just like your heartbeat or just internal sounds, which is kind of cool because then you know your body's actually doing its job and working. And that's the way I wow. like to look at it. But um, yeah, it's definitely cool. I know when my heart was beating, I felt ripples in the water because it's so large. It was like boom. <laughs> and my heart too. rate slowed down a lot. Oh, yeah. That's well, sick. The Epsom salts. I'm sure a lot of people know about the healing properties of Epsom salts, but um, Epsom salt is the, the mineral magnesium sulfite. So your body will absorb the magnesium. Now, most people will eat magnesium thinking they're getting the nutrient, but it's actually found that your intestines doesn't absorb magnesium as well as your skin. So by floating in these Epsom salts, you're going to absorb this magnesium in a very, very high dose of it, which is thus going to be used in over 300 different body functions, including generating serotonin, which is your happy hormone <laughs> and your pain-killing hormone. Um, plus, you got the sulfate. The sulfate of the magnesium sulfate will actually detox the cells and allow the cells to get rid of waste products. Extracts toxins, yeah. So, so detox along with the nutrients. So, John, how do you prepare someone that may have some discomfort going into this tank or this room? Um, well, actually... Like Chella. No, no, no. Because <laughs> and Mama Chella. No, stop. <laughs> I, we did some Mama research Chella. last night, and we found there were, like, tanks that looked like coffins. Yeah. They're... And I don't, I don't think I'd be comfortable in that. But your facility, I can't wait. Yeah. I thought you wanted you, to get one for the back of your pickup. You could do that, but you got to make it skin temperature. Right. Know? By making the skin temperature, you don't get the feel. But. You just need a hot plate. 
Cause you can do that. Just insulate it. You know? yep. So how would you prepare someone? Um, well, when you come see my facility, if you've done your research and see these other tanks, which they work. I'm not saying they don't work, but right. a lot of people, like you said, are claustrophobic and you know don't want to be enclosed. So when you come check out my facility like you did yesterday, I actually have the largest float rooms on the East Coast, if not throughout the United States. Wow. Um, your standard rooms are about eight foot by, by four foot wide. I have eight foot by six foot wide tubs, but they're also seven foot high ceilings. So you're virtually in a room. You step over, you open the door, and you're in a room. It's so nice. It's really not that claustrophobic. Right, so the initial, the initial thing is you're not, you don't feel like you're claustrophobic when you walk in. No, and actually I've had plenty of people who are claustrophobic come to the facility thus far, um, and they get in there maybe feeling a little bit anxious, but once that Epsom salt starts to absorb into the skin with that magnesium, serotonin buildup in the brain, it calms you right down. Wow. And everybody, so far, all positive feedback. So that's really important, you know, to give somebody a working product and something that everybody enjoys. Can you float too much? Um, can you float too much? That's a good question. The only thing I would see with that, I haven't seen any research doing all the research I've been doing that you can float too much. But you may want to let the body actually lose some of the magnesium that it's getting in the high dose. This way, when you absorb it again, you're getting that high kind of introduction again where the body will spike and start working properly again and put you into that really deep state of relaxation. Um, so as per floating too much, I don't think you can. I really don't. Because I actually want one for a bed. You want? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. If, I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, you could probably to do, do that. I, I mean, you probably can. I mean, think about it. We're in this aqueous substance when we're in our mother's womb. Oh, no. We're yeah. in a yeah. salt amniotic sac. We live in water for yeah, nine months. But when you're sleeping during the night, you're tossing and turning. No, you, I you, did not move. But see, with this, with the no gravity, there's no tension. There's no pressure. No tension. That's why you turn. You turn to be comfortable. Because the gravity's still pushing on you in your bed. When you're in so here, you're, from the buoyancy, there's no gravity. So you're telling me that if you're lying in this tank, this... this you don't move once you start. Yeah, you're... You're buoyant. You're floating there. Even if you fall asleep like this guy did last time, <laughs> he was snoring in there, but he was out. He, he was deeper than probably anybody's and ever You know what's funny? This is what I did. I took my legs and I opened them as wide as I can just to be comfortable, and then I took my hands, and this was interesting. Once it got completely quiet, once they turned the sound off, I took and made a fist, and I heard the bones adjusting all the way up my arm. It was sick. So I hear boom, wow. boom. I'm telling you. Then I took my hand and I flexed the to flex the um, the fascia, and I could hear it pulling all the way up to my shoulder. I released it. Then I did it with the other side. Then I took my head. I just turned it about three inches and said click click. The other side. Then I dropped my shoulders back and I wiggled it. Then I laid my head, dropped it back completely. By this time, I f did not even feel the water on my body. And you're floating. What? Yeah. All right. So let me ask you a question. People that have sleep apnea that mm. use CPAP machines mm. use it because it's, it's forcing, yeah. okay. forcing air. Yeah. Now, if they're in the flotation device without their CPAP machine, can't they choke and... and no. Well, I mean, if they need the machine, potentially, yeah. But the thing is, um, you want to know these ailments before you come, like stuff like that. You might want to speak with your doctor to make right. sure it's something that you should be doing, you know? Because if you're floating in there and you pass out or go to sleep, which... Just so you know, scientifically you proven, you, you can't drown. One, the buoyancy will keep you where you are. But by for some slim chance, you roll your head over. Right. Scientifically proven as from the you salt. Get wet, you're gonna wake right well, up. the salt, it's it, it will burn your eye and it will also burn your nose. So wake literally, right scientifically up. proven to wake you up instantly. So and here's the other no, thing there's about no fear in that. Right. And the other, thing, no and the other okay. thing about sleep apnea and is this: a lot of people sleep with a pillow that elevates their head that actually shuts off the airway. Mm. Like if you do, yeah. if you do um, CPR, the first thing you do is you do a a chin tilt right. to open the airway. When you lay in the water, you're laying actually like this. Yeah. It's sick. Mm -hmm. Wow. Your airway is open. Now, one recommendation I do want to make is this. It is really important for your body to be hydrated before you go in. Mm. One of the things that I noticed when I went in, I started feeling there was a histamine production in my body. Mm. My nose, I was a little dry, and my nose okay. started to swell a little bit. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, because 100%. Yeah, your body, yeah. When, when your lungs are dry and you're breathing, what happens is your body starts producing histamine, which is no transmitter, and it regulates blood flow to the nasal passageway. Mm -hmm. It restricts air. It's trying to yeah. conserve water in your body. 
So it's important for you to hydrate maybe the day before. Yeah. So that you go and hydrate, then the experience will be absolutely incredible. Yeah. And, you know, there's, on my website, there's a, a page called First Time Floater, which actually tells you everything you need to know before you come to the facility. Like, you know, um, don't eat right before, within an hour, because then you're just going to be listening to your stomach digest, and you'll be more apt to have to go to the bathroom, which right. you go before you go into the tank. Um, so I don't want you to have to get up in the middle of your session to go to the bathroom, you know, so that's why eating before is good. Um, other things, no caffeine, um, you know, good night's sleep, just to be, you know, just so you're in there, you're in there with like your full self, you're not right. just in there to kind of pass out. Because the whole point is to actually put you into the theta brainwave state, which is a very slow moving brainwave state. Um, right before sleeping and right after waking up is when we normally attain this brainwave state. But it's been scientifically proven to be our most creative um, state, our um, accelerated healing state, um, lucid dreaming state. So when you're in that state, you may be um, right about to go to sleep, but you'll also be generating dreams while you're basically in a waking state. So it's a really cool experience. Well, what's interesting, just to kind of add to what he's saying, like there is a, a ritual that they do in Central South America called ayahuasca, and both of them stimulate the same realm. Yeah. When you dream, yeah. your body releases dimethyltryptamine, which yeah. is released by the pineal gland. When you do that ceremony, you actually drink dimethyltryptamine, which is extracted from these plants. In this facility, when you do flotation, the same thing happens. So you don't feel your body. Like people think that when people die the few minutes before that they're in pain, your body is flooded with this chemical yeah. and you don't feel anything. That's so and you know they talk cool about seeing stuff, the light? Man. That's the travel that you take. And mm -hmm. what's interesting is this. Even if you fall asleep, you still, I was flying, man. I remember one thing I saw. You know if someone takes a, takes a, takes a <laughs> balloon and like they put their face to it? That was the first thing I started seeing. So I, like, right, right after you turn the That's music awesome. off, right after you turn the music off, I started seeing those faces. And I was cool. just like, this shit is awesome. Well, it's cool. <laughs> you will, yeah, you potentially can see some cool stuff. Like for me, the reason I actually started the flotation center is because um, it was probably like my fourth or fifth time floating. I had like a dream or a vision or whatever you want to call it so vividly that, that told me to open up this float center. And I saw the building and people coming out all happy and it was just a really awesome experience. So I started doing the research to open up the center. It's probably about eight months worth of research, me and my dad and my brother. And um, three weeks into renovating the building that I opened up for the mm -hmm. center, I'm outside looking at it, it's all lit up, and I'm just like, are you kidding me? I'm renovating the same exact building I saw in that in that flow tank that day. Wow. So it's just mind blowing to me. Like you get a lot of, you can get a lot out of it. And the least you will get out of a flow tank is you come out just completely relaxed from the, from the Epsom salt. Well, it's the least. Well, I was, last night I couldn't even sleep. And I started going through YouTube and I'm looking at all these things. Let me tell you, I saw one footage on YouTube and this guy said he was a pessimist and he just, you know, he was tense. And he said when he came out of the experience, he said he came out to his environment and he was just reaching to connect with people where mm. normally he was shut down. So, folks, let me tell you something. Wow. Regardless of what has happened to you in your life, here's an opportunity to do a body mental reset. Yeah. And you Seriously. know what? For a fraction of the cost, because a therapist will cost you millions, <laughs> and this is just a fraction of the cost. Yeah. You can literally be your own therapist. Oh, yeah. John, give us how people can reach you, where you're located, your website. Okay. Um, I'm located um, 2005 Deer Park Avenue in Deer Park. Um, my number is 631-487-0424. And my website is epsomflotation.com. Um, now, I also have Facebook. You can find all that information on there. The company name is Infinite Flotation Center. Um, so virtually, you can look me up on Google. Facebook, anything like that, I'm on all those things. So. And he's located at 2005 Deer Park Avenue in Deer Park. Yeah. And I want to give a special shout out to your parents. Your parents are awesome. I was about to say something They about are that. extremely wanna... supportive. Yeah. And a special shout out to Mrs. Ellen Pappas. Yeah, I got something to tell you, girlfriend. Yes, one of us, the body mechanic or I, are going to have our hands on you. Giving you an awesome <laughs> How about both of us? She needs four hands because it's been yeah. a long time. I think so, too. Not saying that Big John is not <laughs> doing his job. <laughs> well, but I met his pops. I was like, what's up, body mechanic? I'm going to do some push-ups right now. So just <laughs> get ready, Ellen, because it's coming. <laughs> That's funny. I know, That's right? Funny. Yeah, you know, I'll tell you, I do a lot of work with people, and I, and I heard what you said about her, but I can tell you, 
people just have to meet the right person to feel comfortable in the skin. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and, and some people might be afraid of this because what they're going to see, but it gives you an opportunity to, to look at it like from a bird's mm -hmm. eye view. It's, yeah, but, yeah. yeah without That's prejudice. Right. I encourage everybody to experience this flotation experience because the body mechanic was very animated, but yesterday's experience, he just could not stop talking about this procedure. This well, you know, experience. I'm like a five-year-old. When I meet good stuff that I want to share with the general population, you know, I'm going to sit it's on the table and shout about it. The same way I did the coffee enema the first time we had our show. Oh, by the way, the coffee enema is coming. I think... <laughs> I'll wait till Chella gets back, and we're going to do one right on this table. I'm going to have a little plastic on here. I'm oh, going to have some. Geez. Oh, no. no coffee? Huh? <laughs> you mean milk and sugar? I... Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Stay so... tuned. Wait. We're going to commercial. We... I can't take my coffee anymore? No, no. Oh, okay. Right. We'll be right back. You know you already want a Toyota, but when you want more from your Toyota store, you want Smithtown Toyota, where every Toyota comes with Smithtown Toyota's Toyota for Life program, giving you lifetime New York State inspections, lifetime 10% discounts on all parts and service, two years of complimentary oil changes, two years of scheduled maintenance, and more, all at no cost to you, plus low clear-out deals on every Toyota in stock. Get more from your Toyota store. Hurry to Smithtown Toyota. Are you planning an event and want to include entertainment, but you're not sure where to turn? Act1Entertainment.net has provided over 1,500 events with quality, affordable live entertainment at private parties, corporate affairs, festivals, bike rallies, and more. Act1 will fit into your budget. They're friendly, reliable, and do all the legwork for you. They take all major credit cards. Log on to Act1Entertainment.net for a free, no-obligation price quote, or call 631-758-3505 for a brochure. You'll be happy you did. Like so many people, are your finances tight lately? Afraid to open your mail or even answer your phone? Well, take heart. You don't have to live like that. If you're 62 or older and own your own home, you can join the thousands of folks who have used safe and effective government-insured reverse mortgages. The government-insured reverse mortgages from Long Island's Senior Reverse Network allow you to stay in your home and turn equity into tax-free cash. Our government-insured reverse mortgages can eliminate mortgage payments, credit card balances, or just improve your lifestyle. Do yourself a favor and solve these problems now. Call the Senior Reverse Network, and our advisors will answer all of your questions about our reverse mortgage programs. We've helped scores of senior Long Island homeowners like you who now enjoy a worry-free retirement. Get the financial security and peace of mind you've dreamed about. Pick up the phone and call us at the Senior Reverse Network now to set up a free consultation. Call 1-800-985-REVERSE. That's 1-800-985-7383. Welcome back to Body Shop TV. My name is Chella. And I'm the Body Mechanic NYC. And we have John in the house from Infinite what? Infinite what? Flotation Center. John Poppers. <laughs> Float expert. I it's like it when you call me Big Pop. Yeah, Papa. That's it. Um, <laughs> so you know what? Tell me about your crystals, man. Yeah. What's the, what's um, the significance of that, man? Well, we have some around your neck, too. Yeah, yeah. Each, each crystal represents a different vibration or frequency. Um, I'm wearing, like, not even half of what I actually carry. Um, but each of these has their own vibration and frequency. Um, so depending on what you're looking for in your life or which actual energy point in the body you want to open depends on which crystal you want to wear. So I'm wearing a bunch to open up a different, a whole different ones. Actually, most of these are just high vibrations, which like keep you in a higher vibrational state. For people who don't know what that means, um, I guess you're going to have to kind of reach that point to understand. But um, right. meditation will help you. So focus on Do you breathing. meditate? Every, almost every day. I yeah. try to. My meditation is more um, quant uh, quality than it is quantity. I do it multiple times a week, but not as much as the average. But my meditations are amazing. Like, John, I find, I find it very interesting. You're 22 years old, right? Yeah, 22. That you're involved in this whole realm mm. of, 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 healness, of yeah. healing and wellness. And yeah. you don't see that much with 22-year-olds. I'm an old soul. <laughs> I think I that's say. awesome. I'm an old soul. I, I did my, sh my fair share of partying when I was younger. 
Um, and I started, I've only been on this really s spiritual path for about a full year. Um, but I've advanced in a year more than I can even express. Like my parents asked them, <laughs> asking where I was even going back last year. And you'll mm -hmm. see like it was complete turnaround. Like yeah, is your this, brother, this whole lifestyle changed. Is your brother the same mindset? Um, yes and no. You know, he's more of like the facts guy. He likes okay. to know facts. Scientific research. Before he knows how to feel. You know what okay. I mean? So, right. And that's okay. That's a lot of people. A lot of people like to know the facts, you know, and yeah. that's okay because facts. Clinical are... trials, you know, studies, all that good stuff. Exactly. Let me so. ask you something. When was the first time you realized that you were stepping into that realm? Um, let's see. I'd say, actually, there's a woman named Lynn. Um, she's a psychic medium. She came into found one day while I was working, and uh, she wanted to rent space. So long story short, she went to rent the space, but she wanted to know if she could read in the room. So she gave me a free reading and blew my mind. She told me <laughs> everybody who, who's passed, what's going to happen and stuff, and everything came true. Mm. So from there, she actually hosted meditation. So I started going to her meditation and practicing it outside of her meditation. And just from there, it just took off. I did research. I, I did studies myself. Um, I've just done all different types of meditation and crystal work and here I am. So that so. one encounter just opened up a whole Literally, Yeah, different that woman world. is amazing. She really is awesome. awesome. So awesome. yeah, she's she's a beautiful person. So I'm grateful to have meet have met her. I'm grateful to have met you guys. Um, this is really a pleasure to be here. Uh, we so. enjoy you. John give yeah. us your content information again. Okay. Um, Infinite Flotation Center is the company name. So if you want to Google or Facebook that um, the number is 631-487-0424. Uh, website is epsomflotation.com. And we are located 2005 Deer Park Avenue in Deer Park. It's about two miles south of the LIE. So it's a pretty quick trip for anybody, really. It's central. So, awesome. Yeah. So when I get back, John, it's me and you. Yeah. In the You're tank. Coming in. You're I can't in. wait. We'll get you How many there. times are you going to go? Who, me before you get back? Yeah. Probably nine, ten times. <laughs> <laughs> At least. John, thank you so much for being that. with us today oh, on Body yeah, Shop TV. Thank you so much. Seriously, yes. It's been yeah. a pleasure, really. Thank you. Yeah. We'll be right back. When your cable's on the fritz, you get frustrated. When you get frustrated, your daughter imitates. When your daughter imitates, she gets thrown out of school. When she gets thrown out of school, she meets undesirables. When she meets undesirables, she ties the knot with undesirables. And when she ties the knot with undesirables, you get a grandson with a dog collar. Don't have a grandson with a dog collar. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. When your cable company keeps you on hold, you get angry. When you get angry, you go blow off steam. When you go blow off steam, accidents happen. When accidents happen, you get an eye patch. When you get an eye patch, people think you're tough. When people think you're tough, people want to see how tough. And when people want to see how tough, you wake up in a roadside ditch. Don't wake up in a roadside ditch. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. When you pay too much for cable, you throw things. When you throw things, people think you have anger issues. When people think you have anger issues, your schedule clears up. When your schedule clears up, you grow a scraggly beard. When you grow a scraggly beard, you start taking in stray animals. And when you start taking in stray animals, you can't stop taking in stray animals. Stop taking in stray animals. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. So then I said, Mr. Prime Minister, I'm flattered that you love chocolate, but I'm here strictly in a professional. What's wrong with him? He thinks you're naked. My shell is brown. It just looks like my milk chocolate is showing. Only a fool would think I'd actually show up naked. So it's that kind of party. Hit it! I'm sexy and I know it. Hey. Spice Body Spray will make you feel so powerful to blow your mind right in front of your face! Goodbye. Oh no!
Automatic freshness, softness, and static control has never been easier with the Bounce Dryer Bar. I just stick it to the inside of my dryer, and I never have to remember. Oh! Old oh, Spice Body Spray makes you smell like power! It's so powerful, it sells itself in other people's commercials! You smell like outdoor freshness. You smell like power? Yeah, I do. Welcome back to Body Shop TV. My name is Shella. And I'm the Body Mechanic NYC. And we have an entrepreneur in the house with us right now. Nikki, welcome to Body Shop TV. Good afternoon. How Good old afternoon. are you? I am 34. 34? You're lying, girl! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am 34. You know black don't crack, Nikki, right? It sure don't. That's we just right. grace, gracefully. Oh, who coined that this, phrase? This is the Nikki line, I'm oh, sure. Oh, gosh. <laughs> hold on, wait, wait. Hold um, on a second. We don't have a, a, a microphone. Oh, oh, oh. All right, so anyway, Nikki, how long have you been in business? I'm going to say about five years. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what inspired you to get into your own business and not work my, for? My previous, my previous um, employer, she was the best. I felt I couldn't be no one else's employer. I need to have my own. By, by her example and what she does and what she do, I said, I'm not going to be able to listen to nobody else. Wow. I'm going to have to do this for myself. And she helped me, and I'm successful now. Very good. And what kind of business do you have, Nikki? I have a daycare. Daycare? Yes. And Nikki's Love and Care Daycare. And where are you located? In Elmont. And do you have employees? Employees. Yes, I do. How many do you have? About seven to ten wow. staff. Wow. Yes. Very yes. nice. I think we have a call for someone here. <laughs> Nikki. The Nikki Show. Welcome to Body Shop TV. Body Shop TV. How you doing? It's the bottom line calling in. What's up, bottom line? What's I, the word? How you living, bottom line? Hey, I'm on top of the world, Shella. How you doing? <laughs> I'm right there with you. So where yeah, you call, where you, call, where you calling from, bottom it. line? What, what you say? Where you calling from? Now, I'm not in front of the um, um, internet. What's going on? What y'all talking about today? We're, we're highlighting entrepreneurs and young people. Did you say, did you say hot entrepreneurs? What? <laughs> Can I get a whoop whoop? <laughs> Absolutely. I'm sorry. I had to go in like that. God, you are so funny. No, so, I, I was bored that way. I can't help myself. Somebody's got to do it. I got to give credit where it's due. You that got fight the camera roll. Yo, are you looking at the camera? You looking at, you looking at the computer? Oh, that's good, because you'd have both hands on the screen right about now. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Yes, we have Nikki in the house right now who has a daycare center in Elmont, Long Island. Oh, okay. Say hi to Nikki. Yeah, they say, they say um, daycare, that's, good. that's a good business. Good business. She apparently is doing very, very well. That, that's even more better. Yes, it's more better. Yeah. Like, See, I was just talking about better. entrepreneurs. I mean, that's it? Uh, yeah, and young people. I'm going to have some young people coming in later on who are um, getting ready to go to Fiji. They're going where? To Fiji. Hello? Fiji the island. Fiji. Yes. The young people are going to Fiji Island? Yes. 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 When, when you say young, what do you mean by young? How young? Um, high school age. Yes. Oh, wow. I'm jealous. I always wanted to go to Fiji just to get the water. Well, you almost went there. Didn't you go? Where did you go? You went to Africa. Then you went to Turkey. Isn't that near Fiji somewhere? Oh, I'm sorry. I need to learn geography. I don't, I don't even know where Fiji is. <laughs> where is Fiji out? Use your smartphone and Google it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I got a. I got a dumb phone, Chella. I gotta get me a smartphone. I'm sorry to hear that. When are you coming to New York again? Um, sooner than later. I would say in March. Oh, cool beans. Cool in beans. March. In March, I'll be in um in New York. All right. Well, bottom line, thank you for calling Body Shop TV. We want to get our interview on with Nikki right now. And thanks for your support, bottom line. Remember, and every Saturday from two to four. The TV is running. Oh, OK. 
Okay, y'all take it easy. All, All right, right, honey. Thank you again for calling. All right, bye-bye. Bye. So tell us about your place. Ah, uh, I'm do looking I, for Do I need building. to digress and, like, become <laughs> four again? And Well, how old are the children, first of all? My earliest is six weeks. Wow. And my oldest is 12 years old. Six weeks? Six weeks. You have to have a lot of patience at a daycare center. You have to have a lot, a lot of God. God and patience. God and patience. Yeah. it's not easy, you know. But when you have a passion for it, you roll with the punches. Wow. Yeah. Do you have any children of your own? No, I don't. Does it make you want to have children or not? What, are you turned off by it? Not turned off, but when the time is right, I'll be willing and able and ready. You'll have all the, you'll have all the tools. Right? You all should be a tools. super mom. You know what? I think that an older mother has a lot more to share with a child than a younger mother. What do you think about that? I agree. Which is true because I have a lot of parents that are older that are raising younger children. I think if I had to do it over again, I would do it now and not when I was 21. Mm. Well, I mean 27. Yeah. So, um, so, like, what age do you think is better? Do you think 18 is a good age for a mama? <sighs> no. no. It's a baby. Really? It's college. That's a, yeah, you got it's your beginning career. of life and... That's yeah. too young. How old when you had your baby, Chella? I was twenty six. I was twenty seven. What happened? Weekend. Did I do something wrong? I don't know. Did I have a? Your did I raise my Your energy eyebrow? shifted for a moment. <laughs> I'm just curious. Your energy shifted by because you're special. Of... I gotta approach you a certain way. I don't want to get the karate chop. You know what Look, I'm saying? How am I special? Huh? You are. I didn't say special Ed or special me. That's a special Chella. Right. God, get it straight. I, I was said special <laughs> Chella. <laughs> special <laughs> Chella. Can I get a window? <laughs> I was 27. Yes, yes. And I was so young and dumb. You know, it, it was... You were not dumb. <laughs> yeah. How could you even use that word? Then I was. Then I was. I was young and dumb. Say challenge, not dumb. All right, I was challenged. Wait a minute. What, what, let me ask you something. Why did you say that? Only because I was just, I wasn't equipped. I wasn't ready. But dumb is not a word that's part of your vocabulary. Is anyone where you ever get that, ready? Where you get that word Because it, it rhymes with young. I just thought it was cool to, to rhyme. Oh, so, oh that must be those videos. Really? <laughs> watch too much Big Papa. What's the, okay, I'm sorry. Let's get back. Maybe hands right, in the I, air. I, I'm sorry. I can't take Jell anywhere. You know what I'm saying? I can't take both of y'all. Right, so, so from so from from 12 to six months, and um, how many children do you take on at one time? Like you know, at the facility, 16. And you're 16. busting out of the seams right I'm now. I'm busting out the house now. I'm so you got your own video, busting out the busting house. house. Uh, <laughs> like, boom, so, hell, I'm scared. It's gonna be it's like it's your school. It, that's where it's at. So, so, like, what's the? How does it work? How many people? How many children can you do maximum for two people, three people? I know there's like a yeah, the ratio. It's the ratio. You, it's seven people. It's seven children to one staff. That's a lot of kids. Depending on the age. Oh. Now I have babies. I have toddlers, and I have after schoolers. So I have five babies. I have three people with the babies because babies and you need all your eyes and right. your senses and everything. With toddlers, they're walking, they're talking, they're going to the bathroom. You can have about three or four or five with the group that I have because I have, I have ten toddlers. Do you handle the babies yourself or are you just in the office running things? No, I do everything. You do, with them nails, you change diapers? Yes. Wait a minute. How do you do everything? What? I do everything. But that's not you're supposed to delegate? Don't that's you? why you have staff. Oh, so you don't do everything. No. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm just I'm backtracking a little bit. <laughs> but you, you said you, you change diapers? Yeah. With those nails? Yes. They're I, mine. It's I not like they, you change. Well, I feel like you're twitching every I time you. I wouldn't want you to change my diaper with those nails. Oh, really? I'm scared. But, I, but I'm pretty sure her hands are soft like the skin on her face. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like a baby's bottom. That's <laughs> so funny. So, Nikki, what kind of what type of building are you looking for? Um, and how large of a building? Well, I have a I have my mind set on a building. Oh, you do? Yes. Uh oh. It's not too far from my house. Okay. But the rent that they're asking is very outrageous, and I believe God that He's going to bless me with that building. So your company is not a non-for-profit organization. It is a non-profit. Oh, you are non-profit. Yes. So are you doing any fundraising? Do you have a uh, a board? A board.
board. Uh, board of directors? Well, um, that's why we try to stay in communication with our area. You know, that they have meetings and they um, there's properties that are around mm -hmm. and you have to be there. Be like, oh, okay, I want this building. What are you going to do to get this building? So those meetings that they have for the our our area, which is Elmont, they have the called the the civic the um the civic meeting. That's how that's what we call it out in Elmont. And you have to go to these meetings. And if you do want this property, you have to basically bid. Oh. But they're asking too much. And me being a first time um, soon to be home buyer. Um, Good for you. Um, business owner, mm -hmm. you gotta you gotta tread lightly. You can't just jump into something like that. You know, you really have That's to. That's a major commitment. A building? Right. Yeah, of course. And so, go ahead. Go ahead. So what are the fees for services? Depending on the age. Okay, what, what, what's the range? Well, the younger they are, of course, that's the more money mm -hmm. for them. Like six weeks, Nassau is asking for 275 weekly mm -hmm. for So that's like the average price. Right. right. Now you have toddlers, which is from the age one to four. Mm -hmm. You know, they'll, they still keep it at like two and up weekly. And then you have your after schoolers and you have, you know, other children that come that are not a part of social service and they're just private and they come out of pocket. These are single these are single parents, these are single females that have a baby and the father's not there. So you try to work along, you know, to make Because you know that they have challenges, so Right. Half yeah. of them is not working, their parent their the grandparents is paying. So it's a lot. You know, you don't want to just, they know they, they need daycare, but they need to work too. Right. Or they got to find a job, but they need daycare. So you try to help instead of being so greedy for money mm -hmm. and want the child, but you want to be able to help the family as well. And what are your hours of operation? 6.45 to 6.45. Wow. 12 hours. So their kids is with me more. <laughs> So, wow. do you have like a curriculum or? I have to have a curriculum. That's the only way that I can run. I have to have a curriculum. I have to have what happens when they come in from 6:45 to 7:45, mm -hmm. and so on and so on. Because if you don't, you just they'll just be running They're around chaos. and playing. We don't want to play. Do you get funding? Do I what? Do you get funding from the state? Because I have social service children. Okay. You know, so um, that's the funding that comes, and, and that's then, it. That's it. And uh, how do you qualify for that? For social service? Right. You have to, um, it's, it's basically on your income. They have to feel that you need it. Are you asking how does the parent qualify no, or how does the agency? No, I'm talking about the institution her, that, she, that she has. Well, being that I'm a group family daycare, mm -hmm. I partner up. When I got started, you have to sign over, you know, to the state of um, New York. And the children that are a part of that, that's when they come to me. So let me ask you a question. These kids are there for 12 hours. Mm -hmm. What do they eat? <laughs> I know body mechanic was itching to ask you that. <laughs> right, body mechanic? Absolutely. Fruits, vegetables. Do they drink milk? Yes. What kind of milk? Um, soy milk. Soy milk? Soy milk. Interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I don't wow. do the white. What kind of snacks do you give them? Vegetables. We have my favorite, veggie straws. Oh, oh I yeah. like those. I know what those and are. And they love those. They have I Whole think Foods. I need some water. Hold <laughs> on. <one second. laughs> they have Whole Foods. And some bee pollen. <laughs> <laughs> a, a veggie straw. They're like that, sticks, right? They're sticks. I yeah. love those. What is that? Grow You've on, had them. Does that grow in a cup? No, a remember tree, we had our first, cup? Mita. Remember we had our first <laughs> touch sensorium? Did you say Mita? Yes. Did you yep. tell me never to use Mita? Oh, I could say it to you. But you can't say it to somebody else. Oh, you mean like when I'm out and I tap the and I tap the cup and I go, Mita, Mita. That's that's rude. And then I rub them on their head. Right. You're not supposed to do that? No, you're not supposed to You do know that. you you've met me several <laughs> times. Several. Do I just do I disrespect people? No. You I don't have don't. a disrespectful body. You in my don't body. have, but that the perception of someone who doesn't know you is totally different. Well, I don't go like this. Mita. <laughs> I go, Mita. He's in a restaurant, okay? 
Remember, I was with him. Remember? Oh, right, Remember? right, right, Remember? right. 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 <laughs> you were laughing really hard, and people were trying to pick you up. So how could you even notice anything? Oh. You know what? We're not going <laughs> we to bring that oh, up right now. That wasn't even my fault. I can see this morning. We were celebrating getting, her birthday. I can tell when you got this morning, you get ready. He's like, oh, sick of that. <laughs> uh, can I get, I'm sorry. Speaking okay, of my back. birthday party, um, oh, my bad. friend says hello. He's watching right now. In fact, he Hi. always <laughs> says hello. Yeah, he wow. he's an avid uh, fan of the body shop. Oh, is he? Yes. And even more so today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he especially, probably got up at 6 a.m. Especially this segment. <laughs> Oh, hi. <laughs> you are a troublemaker, buddy, the I am. You Sprinkle are. bee pollen everywhere. <laughs> what? As a matter of fact, you should be giving those kids some bee pollen. Yep, I'm going to give them that. But mm -hmm. I they share, go look at me. But I want to share something with you about food. Believe it or not, the better the quality of food, mm -hmm. the easier your job is. Yes, and very true. why I say that is because when you take young children and you give them refined foods, mm -hmm. they act like wild people. Yes. And that's they, everyone, they. regardless of your socioeconomic background. When you eat sugar, you are out of control. As a matter of fact, 50% of children in the Western culture are on Ritalin because of sugar. If you know anything about drugs, Ritalin is an antipsychotic drug. If a child's been introduced to Ritalin, they can't go into the military. They can't go through a lot of things. Really? Oh, yeah. And I knew a child that was put on Ritalin because they was... Out of control. Bingo. What's up? Well, Can I get and a... They're not, and they're not, they're not, like, really functionable now as a teenager. No, because they become comatose. So those are easy so they'd kids be sitting to work there with. Like, right. You'd be like, time to go to the bathroom. They'd be like... Okay, I'm going. Wow. We're going to hear some more uh, about Nikki and her daycare center when we come back. Yes. Stay tuned. And give us a call. Holla! Hi, my name is Dr. Tom Dow. We have a multidiscipline practice in Melville and we're in Concord, New York. And we treat patients with many, many different conditions, from newborns through geriatric patients with numerous different techniques. Uh, there's a technique and a, a type of treatment for every class of patient. We have them all here. Here's my son Thomas, also a doctor of chiropractic, working on one of our patient's cervical spine. This patient has had chronic neck pain for many, many, many years, has been to a multitude of different practitioners with little or no response. And with our specialized techniques, she has improved tremendously and continues to improve on a daily basis. Uh, we have two practices, one in Melville and one in Ronkonkoma, New York. We are a multidiscipline um, chiropractic office. Uh, what that means is we have chiropractors, massage therapists, acupuncturists, psychologists, um, all working as a team and a network of outside professionals such as orthopedists and neurologists uh, that we work hand in hand with to help determine what your injuries are and the best way to uh, treat your injuries. Um, I have the great pleasure of having my son in practice with me uh, we work hand in hand, father and son, to give our patients the best care possible um, and a staff which is loving, caring, um, and you'll never have to wait at all in our office for service. Many times patients come into our office and they have what's called a soft tissue injury. Soft tissue injuries are like scars inside your body. If you've ever been cut on the outside of your body, you get a scar. The same thing happens inside of your body to your muscles and ligaments. So our job is to determine where those are, stretch the muscles, adjust the vertebra back into their correct position, and then refortify the normal structure with um, exercise. That's what we do best, and I hope someday you'll come see us at one of our two offices. Thank you.
Welcome back to Body Shop TV. My name is Chella. And I am the Body Mechanic NYC. And we have Nikki, an entrepreneur in here with us, Nikki Hart. Yes. And we have Nicole a call on the phone. Nicole Hart. Sorry? Nicole Hart. Oh, Nicole. I'm sorry. I thought it was just, Nikki. My name is Nikki, but y'all just make me like, <laughs> whatever. 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 You're like family, family. So we say Nikki. That's right. Like, Nikki Nicole in is so the house. Low. It's so Nicole. formal. <laughs> you, know, you know when Teresa's no, upset, she's like, Nicole. No, but listen, body mechanic. <laughs> what? She's looking for a building. We got to say Nicole. That's we have right. Nicole <laughs> Hart with us today who has a daycare center in Elma looking for a larger building. Yes, because she has broken the seams. <laughs> yes, We have a cola Lord. on There's the line. There's pampers hanging out the side, everything. <laughs> we need a bigger building. Welcome to Body Shop TV. We have a call on the line. Welcome to Body Shop TV. Um, hello, my name is Yolanda Collins, and I'm the caller for today. And I'm just watching the show, and I'm just so excited to see Nicole Hart, the entrepreneur um, that you're speaking with today. I know her personally. She's like a second daughter. I'm just so proud of her, uh, of the work that she's doing, and she has the tenacity and the faith of God to, to keep going. So I'm just very proud of her, and I just wanted to encourage her on today. And I just learned so much about her business and what it entails. So um, I'm just very proud and uh, just wanted her to keep the faith and keep moving forward. So you're a proud supporter, huh? Yes, I am. Awesome. Thank you, Auntie. I love you very much. Love you too, sweetie. Uh, thank you for calling Body Shop TV, Yolanda. Keep us locked here every Saturday from 2 to 4 p.m. Okay, bye-bye. Have a great weekend. Thank honey. you so much for calling. You too. Bye-bye. Yeah. So, Nicole, Yay. give us your contact information. So, if anyone's watching that has an, uh, a lead into a, a larger building for you. Or a bus company. Or I'm, Are you need a bus okay. too? Yes. Wow. All right, well, you, didn't get the, you didn't say bus, I'm Nicole. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I run a summer camp too. So I. Wow. You didn't tell us about the summer camp. You do run 365 days a year. Yes. Wow. Yeah. She's lost. She's you living large. You need your own block. I mean, this is what I got you for. This is what I got you for. She in body shop community. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> so, what's your contact information, Nicole? Well, if anyone wants to get in contact with me, my number is five one six two four four nine four eight six or you can email me at nlcdaycare at aol.com. Awesome. Well, Nicole, mm -hmm. we want to thank you for being part of Body Shop TV this afternoon. No problem. Absolutely. And, and we, we want to welcome you back in the future. I will be here. And we just want to make a little comment. Um, soy? <laughs> I knew you couldn't get away with I it. I, was saying I, I, I couldn't let you fly out because it was cold. YesWeCare.net is a 501c3 charity that provides help to veterans and their families. Please visit YesWeCare.net and donate in any way you can by purchasing our beautiful frame prints or relaxation CDs and DVDs, even smooth jazz CDs. YesWeCare.net. Remember, our troops are on their way home. They need all the support they can get. YesWeCare.net.
Pods hair and microfiber brushes and mitts. Proudly using Ecolab Blue Coral soaps and waxes. Formula Auto Wash has served the community for over 30 years. See any discounts all day, every day. Ladies Day Wednesday, $3 off any wash. Early bird discount Monday through Thursday till 9.30 a.m. This is Beth. Hi. Hi. Oh, congratulations. When are you due? I'm not pregnant. Oh, look at that. Excuse me. You're totally thin. You look very sexy. You guys ready for the show? Yeah. Enjoy. Welcome back to Body Shop TV. My name is Shella. And I'm stopping the name of love, Body Mechanic <laughs> NYC. <laughs> this is my favorite part of the show when we highlight young people. I love young people, Body Mechanic. Yes, you do. Yes. <laughs> stop, stop. And we have Brandon and Jordan with us today from Half Howell Hill School District. And somebody's going to Fiji and I want to go. I'm jealous. Who's going to Fiji? Brandon. What? Oh. Why, are you going to, why are you going to Fiji? So that I can learn about their different cultures and customs and get to know the people there. And what program is allowing you to go there? People to People. That's the name of the program? Yes. And that's through your school or an outside organization? Outside. And the name of that organization? People to People. Oh. <laughs> I want to make sure you're paying Shelley, attention. Shelly, you must have bee on the brain. <laughs> so let me ask you something, young man. How did you get selected? What was the selection process? We had to go through an interview, and we had to fill out all these informations on the website. It, I don't exactly remember it right now, but, but um, then once we were selected, uh, they would call us and let us know that we would be attending their trips. That's cool. How many kids were selected? Um, I think there's 20 or 30 of us in a delegation. Wow. And Jordan, where are you going? I'm going to Europe, France, Italy, and England. What? These kids are Took living me 50 long. years to get there. And how old are you? Uh, 12. Wow. I feel slighted. I'm telling you, man. You got, how big are your bags? You got the big bags empty? Fight mechanic could jump in and go? Right now it's empty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have a beautiful smile. I went, to, I went to Europe like 30 years ago. You are in for the treat. You are going to have life. so much fun. You really that is have awesome. A great time. Are there other countries besides Fiji that you're going to? Yes, I'm going to New Zealand and Australia. Wow. So have you done any research on any of those places yet? Um, a little bit. Yeah? What do you use as a resource to search out the places that you're going to? Um, I use their website mostly. There's also, I make a recommendation, there's a book called The Lonely Planet because I've traveled a lot of places and it gives you all the customs and intricacies of those countries and it's really a great source. Just don't read too much because you want to experience a lot of it when you get there. 
But I'm excited for you guys because when people of color travel, it's very interesting how you get treated outside of the U.S. You're in for a serious, serious treat. It's, it's incredible. A great experience. Absolutely. How do your peers feel about you leaving, going abroad? Are they jealous? Are they excited? Yeah. I told a few of my friends, and uh, they were pretty excited for me. Like, uh, one of my neighbors, they kind of uh, helped me um, raise money for it. Mm -hmm. I sold um, some things around the neighborhood, and so people are really excited for me to go. How much did you have to raise? Um, I have to raise seven thousand, and my brother has to raise eight thousand. So. so, so where wow. are you in? Where are you in the mix here, as far as raising money? Um, right now, I've raised a thousand and five hundred dollars, approximately. And so. you have until when to raise the rest of the money? July. How about you? I have about sixteen hundred, and I have till June. So, what are you guys doing to raise money? Share um, with our audience. Mainly, we're trying to um, call people and contact them through email. We're also going around and selling. Like, we made chocolate pretzels, and so my brother, he plays. Did you bring any today? Oh, no. God, I would have bought some. Man. Even though I don't eat chocolate? I do. I eat but chocolate. So you... Oh, not anymore. I'm on a diet. I forgot. I keep forgetting I'm on a diet. All right, go ahead. Keep... You need some beef on the chocolate. All right, that some. So go ahead, so keep going, So my brother plays football, so during one of his football games, I took some of those pretzels and I sold around. And I made about seventy dollars that I reinvested to make some more money. Did he say reinvested? Did yes. You hear this? You're you're brilliant. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. What Wall, are you gonna? Is Wall Street calling for you yet? What do you want to do when you go to college? What do you want to study? Um, I want to be a lawyer. So I want to study law. There's a lawyer here. Did you meet him? Um, no, I don't believe so. I'll introduce you to him when you come when you when we're done. How about you? What do you want to study? I want to do um athletic training. Nice. You want athletic training? Body mechanic is a trainer. Yeah, I train. I, st I became a trainer after I left Wall Street. I started about seven years ago. I have a facility in Bellport, and I do welding for a very large company. And um, it's a great profession. I make great contacts, and the sky's really the limit. So wait, I'm concerned that you have a long way to go to raise you, to meet your goal. You have until now. So how can we help them? Well, we're hosting an event on March 6th, our annual, our first annual gala. Okay. Um, perhaps we could give you a percentage of oh, the monies that we raise. We can partner with them and figure out a way, right. So we'll do that. We could really raise a lot of money. Wow. Yeah. Maybe enough for three or four trips. <laughs> so let me ask you a question. If someone is watching this show today or tomorrow or next week and they want to contribute to the cause, how can they com communicate with you? Well, we have our own website set up, up and uh, through there you can donate through them and uh, that we, we can do all sorts of stuff, and we have our own Facebook account, and, and uh, you, um, you can email us and all sorts of stuff. You want awesome. to share that with our we can share it with the audience, and we'll what, put it on our website as well. Right. What is the, what's what is what's it? your website? Um, we're using GoFundMe. I don't remember the exact URL though. Okay, I'll get it from your mom. Um, we do business have cards. Uh, business cards. Yes. Oh. What? I am Man. scared of you. Law school, the business card. And some what chocolate pretzels, it's popping. Wait, are you going to make chocolate pretzels again? Uh, Tell you better stop. I won't be on a diet forever. We actually have some chocolate pretzels at home. We have a bucket, yeah. A bucket? A bucket? Yeah. That's like Kentucky Fried Chicken. I'll be back in two weeks. These are nice Are you doing the cards. same thing? You're part of the selling the pretzels, or are you doing something different? Um, I'm not doing chocolate pretzels mostly, but... And I do help out with them. Well, you know what's interesting is you guys can look online and figure out ways to raise money. There's tons of ideas out there. Indiegogo. Absolutely. There's I, lots of ways to I, I'm a fundraiser. And I, I think I spoke with one of your colleagues, Micheline Coley. I think that's her name. I'm not sure. They gave her some ideas. I don't have my, my glasses on. I can't see. Is there a phone number? What's yes, it? there is. Can you, can you no, please? there's. It's just an email address. All right, give the email address. So it's www.facebook.com slash forward slash Brandon dot. They can reach us. Give us a call. It's two o two. Yeah, Osley, O Z L E Y dot one. Or you can reach the body shop at two o two six two seven zero two seven. Right, and donations can go to www go g o f u n d gofundme dot com forward slash five nancy nine three six four yes. that's a lot yes Again. that's all right that's where the money flows <laughs>
So you guys have any, any uh, comments you want to give to your peers or any message that you want to share? Um, yes, I'm very excited about the trip. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So does your brother train you? <laughs> no, not yet. No, not yet? <laughs> Who's not faster, yet. you or him? Just I am. You're faster? Just because you're bigger or no. you're stronger or you're just faster? You're both very handsome gentlemen. Yeah. You have Thank girlfriends? You. No, not yet. Why are you asking the question? Because the reason why is because of this. I want to say this. Girls in school don't mix. No, girls in books don't mix. That too. <laughs> Remember that. My grandmother taught me that. Okay, books and boys don't mix. <clears throat> so, gentlemen, I want to wish you the best of luck. Enjoy your journey. It's going to be awesome. You'll remember it for the rest of your lives. And we will talk about creating an alliance so we can help you generate those funds you need. Like not all of them, but some of them. We can definitely help. Yes. Absolutely. Thank and you. thank you for being part of Body Shop TV today. Thank, thank you, you for having thank us. You so oh, you're welcome. Can you show me how to do a push-up? <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Yes, you will. Or maybe we'll just start doing some... Hi, my name is Dr. Tom Dow. We have a multidiscipline practice in Melville and run Cockman, New York. And we treat patients with many, many different conditions, from newborns through geriatric patients with numerous different techniques. Uh, there's a technique and a, a type of treatment for every class of patient. We have them all here. Here's my son Thomas, also a doctor of chiropractic, working on one of our patients' cervical spine. This patient has had chronic neck pain for many, many, many years, has been to a multitude of different practitioners with little or no response. And with our specialized techniques, she has improved tremendously and continues to improve on a daily basis. Uh, we have two practices, one in Melville and one in Ronkonkman, New York. We are a multidiscipline um, chiropractic office. Uh, what that means is we have chiropractors, massage therapists, acupuncturists, psychologists, um, all working as a team and a network of outside professionals such as orthopedists and neurologists uh, that we work hand in hand with to help determine what your injuries are and the best way to uh, treat your injuries. Um, I have the great pleasure of having my son in practice with me uh, we work hand in hand, father and son, to give our patients the best care possible um, and a staff which is loving, caring, um, and you'll never have to wait at all in our office for service. Many times patients come into our office and they have what's called a soft tissue injury. Soft tissue injuries are like scars inside your body. If you've ever been cut on the outside of your body, you get a scar. The same thing happens inside of your body to your muscles and ligaments. So our job is to determine where those are, stretch the muscles, adjust the vertebra back into their correct position, and then refortify the normal structure with um, exercise. That's what we do best, and I hope someday you'll come see us at one of our two offices. Thank you.
Welcome back to Body Shop TV. My name is Chella. And I am Body Mechanic NYC. And we have two more young people here that are getting ready to go abroad. I'm so proud of them. We have Etiana and Tatiana. Tatiana. Welcome to Body Shop TV. Hi. <laughs> so now, where are you ladies going? Wait a minute. What did y'all say? Hi. Oh, <laughs> oh, we're talking. All right. Where are you guys going? Um, I'm going on a people people trip to Fiji, New Zealand, and Australia. Awesome. And where so you she's going? going with Brandon? Brandon's going there, right? Yes. Right. And where are you going? I'm going to Australia. Oh, I'm you, so I jealous. just one country? How come? <laughs> because it's this so far. This is my far. first time. Oh, I didn't know that. She's going to go there and show them how to dance. What's it's up? It's what? in different groups. Oh, I Thank see. You. And you're going to dance with you over there? No, I don't know. You don't there, know? There's lots of kangaroos. You could dance with the kangaroos. They'd be like, pop, pop. Whoop, whoop. Get up, get up. They do hip hop over there. Oh my God, Australia! That's so exciting. Are you excited? And Fiji. That's awesome. So how long are you gonna be where you're going? How, the total trip is how long? How much? My time? trip is twenty-two days. Twenty-two. Is that enough? Probably not. You're like twenty-two <laughs> years. Wow. Is it over the summer? Yes. Is it gonna be hot over there? Um, each country, the temperature is different. Like in New Zealand, it's cold. Australia can change depending on where you are, and Fiji is hot. So you have a yeah. lot of different wardrobes. Yeah. Australia to put together. has every has every range. They have the mountain skiing and the, yeah, everything. That is awesome. I'm probably just gonna bring a bin with me. A what? A bin. A bin with all, a whole bunch of clothing. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. What do you, what do you feed kangaroos? What do they eat? Nuts. Mm. I don't know. You gotta do some research. Yeah, girl. You better get that lonely planet in Australia and break it down. When are you going? I'm going July fifth. July 5th. Are both trips leaving at that time? No, mine's on July 9th. And you ladies are doing fundraising as well? Yes. Yeah. So what are you doing to raise money? Well, I'm making homemade eggnog pound cakes, and I'm doing... Coquito. You can hang out with bootleg <laughs> Betty. You can sell like a combo pack. That's not like Coquito to me. Got, Wait a minute. Stop talking about alcohol to kids. I, that's not it's alcohol. To young people. Eggnog pound cake? Did you bring any here today? No. That sounds healthy. You you gotta think of like an entrepreneur. Anywhere you go, you should I have am an stage. entrepreneur. So so you know you oh, should have brought your product. She said she is an entrepreneur. You could have showed it on the on the street. We have to, maybe we have to get I them back. I just came from dance. It's... I didn't have anything. Oh, uh, you came from dance. So listen, we're gonna invite you guys back. Even the two guys that were here earlier, and we're gonna be on the couch right together. And what are you doing to raise money? Fundraising event, a taste of adventure and design. Food tasting, art exhibit. Food tasting? Culture. What is that? What is that? She wants some eggnog pound cake. I'm hungry. I and some eat chocolate pretzels. You're terrible, Chella. Cultural experience and more. When is it? February 15th. Where? At the Deer Park School, um, what Lawrence, Washington. That? Yes, the date is February 15th. 2014, time 4 to 7 p.m. Is that a Friday? Let's just say 3 because you know Saturday. folks don't like to come till, you know, oh. you know how people are. 4 to 7 we'll p.m. location, here. George Washington School Cafeteria. We should go after the show. We'll be there. 4 to 7. We'll be there. We get out of here at 4. Right, okay. perfect. 220 Washington Avenue, Deer Park, New York, so 11729. It's a, so it's a food fest? What is it? It's um, eggnog fest. <laughs> I'm having different food vendors come and show their foods and give food tastings to everyone and having local business donate food, especially certain ones from the countries I'm going to. And then Very it's smart. also an art exhibit because I'm an artist, so I'm Get selling out of some here. of my pieces. This is like Martha Stewart. What's going what? on over here? So I'm selling some of my pieces there and doing my first art exhibit. Do you have any pieces that are, that are what? Wait, wait. We can have some of our stuff. Oh, yeah, at, 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 at a gala. Yeah, March 6th. So you can display your stuff. So you give me all like what, Like whatever you don't sell in February, you can bring it to our gala. Sure. We'll put it on easels, have little price tags on the bottom right here. Absolutely. In the corner. How old are you? 16. Wow, you're pretty comfortable on the camera. Let me tell you, girl. <laughs> Hold on a second. I see your shoulders a little. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> so is Tatiana. I know. Tatiana. She's she, she ready to dance. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of dance is you exciting. Hip hop, jazz, ballet, and tap. And they how many days of the week do you go? They try to do my daughter, too. They try Saturday. to bust them out five, five hours a week of dance. How many times do you go? One. Oh, one day a week? And you learn all five, all four? Or does it change up each it time? It changes up every year. Oh, my daughter's going to, she's going three hours a week, and she's doing ballet, jazz, and tap, and she'll do hip-hop next year. But um, she loves it. What's your favorite? Hip-hop. That's what's Really? Up. My daughter likes jazz, but she wants to do hip-hop. Hip-hop is fun. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> she's like... 
She got a lot of flavor. Must be that eggnog. What's up with that, huh? Yo, when can I get some eggnog pound cake? And don't I'm, mix it with bootleg It's Betty. for a good cause. When can I get some? Whenever you order, I'll bring it. All right, cool. So we, we're going to invite you guys back. Is there a lot of back. calories in that eggnog pound cake? Will no. It, will like, it, like <laughs> in the lips and on the hips? It's not like that? Or it's no. good for you? Oh. It's not good for you, but it's good. <laughs> it's good for your trip. <laughs> Who made yeah, it? I, I do. You make it yourself? From scratch. What? From scratch? Wait a minute. Oh, I can't wait. I'm telling you. I can't wait. Y'all are ready. I am so excited. For that is one. so cool. Have you ever traveled outside of the country before? Mm. Unless Florida counts. No, outside yeah. the country. That's almost it's outside. It's on the on the, the brink, tip. but not. There's a lot of different <laughs> cultures down there, so you experience that. But when you travel outside the border of the of the of the United States, you're gonna have some fun. They're gonna treat you like, like they just don't treat people of color here like they do abroad. You know, Chella, because you traveled a lot. I see. I'm different than body mechanic. Everywhere I go, I, I just make friends easily, and people treat me. Oh, right. I don't see the I difference. I don't make friends. You're right. No, no, I'm not saying that you don't. It's that I don't see that. Like I would never have made that comment. I do because because you're a man. Also, it's different. Right. That's nothing because you know I scare people because I'm so rough and, and I got scars and on pants. my face and everything. But and your flying carpet pants. Right, my flying carpet pants. <laughs> So are your friends excited for you? Yeah. Are they helping you raise money? I haven't really told my friends about it. No? So no, you got to spread the word. How much more money do you need to make right now? More. You don't know? A couple thousand more dollars. A million oh, more eggs. <laughs> you got you to gotta talk to people like the owner of the studio. I'm sure he would provide some sort of donation. Absolutely. I'll hook you up. Because he <laughs> likes eggnog. Yes. Absolutely. No doubt. So what kind of art do you do? Um, drawing. Um, I recently started doing more painting because I recently didn't like it because I can't do as much, many details right. when I'm doing it. But I just drawing. What kind stuff. of mediums do you use? And speak louder. Um, Charcoal, acrylic. Crayons. I like oil paints when I do paint. Um, I like using these um, special kind of markers called Copic markers which is like really professional and the way it blends and stuff. But um, it depends how I'm feeling. That's how you feel, right? Well, that's what art is. It's expressing what's going on inside. That's what's so incredible about it. I am so proud of both of you. I've, I've met you when you were a little girl. You were like a different person, and you're just blossoming up to be a, a lovely young lady. I'm extremely proud of you. Thank you. Just keep the focus, and keep in mind that books and boys don't mix. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> Absolutely. My daughter knows. She has like skull and crossbone and boys right in the corner. So if anyone wants to contribute, get in touch with you, how can they reach you guys? Um, we both have GoFundMe pages. Okay. So they can A go little louder that. so they can hear you. We both have GoFundMe pages that you can go and look up our pages. Mine is Etiana, Journey to the South Pacific. And so you'll need to I spell no that for them. Mine is. You don't know Etiana. what it is. <laughs> Etiana, it. which is E T I A N A, and it's to the South Pacific. Well, Journey to the South Pacific. Journey to the South Pacific. I know mine. Okay, what, what is, is it? it? Speak up. Mine is Tatiana, student ambassador. Ooh. Tatiana, student ambassador. And that's all through GoFundMe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. awesome. Well, I wish you both the best. I is want to thank you. Is that forward slash like? Mm -hmm. um, Oh, yeah. Oh. Post, what's your Facebook page? My Facebook page is the same thing. It's Etiana's Journey to the South Pacific. Etiana's Journey to the South Pacific. And what's yours? Shay Sense do my business. Excuse me? Shay Sense do my business. Shay? Shay Sense. I think Shea 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 Sense. Sense. So how do you spell that so they'll know? S-H-E-A-S-C-E-N-T-S. Shay Sense do my business. Very nice. That's my business name. Oh, you, and you sell scents? No, I sell shea butter. Oh, shea butter. You sell butter. shea butter. Now, what? And I can use some of that right about me now. Me too. Did you bring it here with you? Listen, Miss Businesswoman, let me tell you something, okay? Every she just came from dance. Of, It doesn't matter. When you're a business owner, you capture every opportunity. Because you never know when you're going to meet someone. Because Chell would have bought a few bottles. I, no doubt. Hold and on so a second. I think you need a little bit. S S no, I don't. Yeah. No, I, I'm very moisturized. You need some shayism. Get out of here. Listen, you never know when you're going to meet someone. Like us, everywhere we go, 
if we go to the gas station, I always have our cards with us because we never know who we're going to meet. And this one, you know. Everywhere, everywhere I give them out. In fact, I toss them on the trains. I like to drop them on the street and look up and people like, it's like a frenzy because it's body shop blue. So when out. we invite you back to the studio, I want you to bring the eggnog, clown cake. You're going to bring some one of your pieces. Paintings, the shea butter. You know what? And Maybe she can make a piece for us and we can auction it off. You're a genius, buddy. You we are, tell it. We love Body Shop Blue. Yes, yeah, so think about our setting and our journey, yes. which is wellness and relationships. Put together something with your special cobalt. There you go, girl. What a saw. We when got you, you feel, back. When you feel like doing it. All right, cool. We got you back. Well, once again, thank you for being with us at Body Shop TV. We're excited. Thank you for having us. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> You're quite welcome. We'll be right back. Yes, we will. Hi, my name is Dr. Tom Dow. We have a multidiscipline practice in Melville and we're in Concord, New York. And we treat patients with many, many different conditions, from newborns through geriatric patients with numerous different techniques. Uh, there's a technique and a, a type of treatment for every class of patient. We have them all here. Here's my son Thomas, also a doctor of chiropractic, working on one of our patient's cervical spine. This patient has had chronic neck pain for many, many, many years, has been to a multitude of different practitioners with little or no response. And with our specialized techniques, she has improved tremendously and continues to improve on a daily basis. Uh, we have two practices, one in Melville and one in Ronkonkoma, New York. We are a multidiscipline um, chiropractic office. Uh, what that means is we have chiropractors, massage therapists, acupuncturists, psychologists, um, all working as a team and a network of outside professionals such as orthopedists and neurologists uh, that we work hand in hand with to help determine what your injuries are and the best way to uh, treat your injuries. Um, I have the great pleasure of having my son in practice with me uh, we work hand in hand, father and son, to give our patients the best care possible um, and a staff which is loving, caring, um, and you'll never have to wait at all in our office for service. Many times patients come into our office and they have what's called a soft tissue injury. Soft tissue injuries are like scars inside your body. If you've ever been cut on the outside of your body, you get a scar. The same thing happens inside of your body to your muscles and ligaments. So our job is to determine where those are, stretch the muscles, adjust the vertebra back into their correct position, and then refortify the normal structure with um, exercise. That's what we do best, and I hope someday you'll come see us at one of our two offices. Thank you. YesWeCare.net is a 501c3 charity that provides help to veterans and their families. Please visit YesWeCare.net and donate in any way you can by purchasing our beautiful frame prints or relaxation CDs and DVDs, even smooth jazz CDs. YesWeCare.net. Remember, our troops are on their way home. They need all the support they can get. YesWeCare.net.
Welcome back to Body Shop TV. <laughs> I'm Chella. And I'm the body mechanic NYC. Don't be confused. I look hot today, I know. <laughs> and I'm flexing my biceps. Can my I get a win? <laughs> <laughs> hold on a second, hold on, hold on. Chella, hold on. <laughs> you are so silly. Do you know who? <laughs> oh my uh, God. You're going to be laughing on an airplane all I the know, way to Florida. Right? <laughs> yeah. right? Wow. Is this Those snowing? kids are awesome. Yes, they are. I'm so impressed. Oh. They're going to Fiji, Australia, New Zealand. That's Man. amazing. They got to raise some money, though. Let me tell you something. But you know what? I think that traveling is so important for young adults to be exposed and realize how vast and expansive the globe is. That's right. And what's out there to give them a great reference. So that instead of being stuck in one location, and, and being exposed to certain things, they, they have other places in their mind to travel to. Mm -hmm. So um, that was a great opportunity. Yeah. Great opportunities, yeah. That is true. Wow. No, you know what? You, you said an interesting point, but maybe it's because I'm a male. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, I'm, I'm pretty easygoing, and um, I mean, I have a way with people. But when I travel, you still get treated differently than you do here. You know what I'm saying, Chella. I know what you're saying when it comes to you. I don't have that experience when I travel abroad. Okay. Uh, I don't. And I think it's because I'm a woman. I don't know. You know black men have a certain stereotype. Is that what it is? Yeah. But it's all good. I, I wish them the best. It's a great experience for them. Yeah, yeah. Great absolutely. experience. But I just think that's, that's a lot of money to be raised per kid. Well, that's a huge trip. They're going to th they're, he's going to three separate islands, and Australia is on the other side of the globe. It's a huge trip. That's how much it goes. If you take a trip to Australia, it's going to be between six and $10,000. I'm just afraid that we're already approaching February. They have until June to raise this money. They got to they step, step up the game. They got, yeah, yeah, they got, she, she's got to she's got to call Utz and like she needs about 40,000 pretzels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah. lots of chocolate. Yeah. But you know what? They're charming and they just, they just need a, they'll be fine. I hope we can do something with them. It'd be great to have them do oh, something. Oh, yeah, we will at do something dollar. with them. Absolutely. That's great. I'm excited. Yeah, I like that concept. Right? So, Chella, we're getting closer to the, to the hour. So, um, what time will you land in um, the warm weather? I think around 10.30 tonight. The flight. Is, it, is it snowing? Huh? Is it snowing? So it's uh, snow today. Oh, really? I don't even know if the I don't know. Hopefully, when I come out of my flotation tank, it'll be 12 feet out there. And I'm I can just get jealous. I wish I was going with you. I'm going to flash a picture before I get in. You are? Yeah. I'm going to take the cup. <laughs> I'm going to go, Chella. <laughs> Chella. I'm going to put it on the edge of the tank. And then what I'm going to do <laughs> is turn the lights out. So the last thing I see is red lips. <laughs> Download, <laughs> download complete. <laughs> so, Body Mechanic, what, what? are we going to do? Oh, you're going to have, talk about your oh, show you're going to do next oh, week. Oh, so next week I'm going to have John Fountain Man. No, I'm, I'm, John. I'm infinite, from infinite. Infinite. Flotation. Infinite. I'm going to have um, Chris. From Fountain. From, from Fountain. That's a PA. I'm going to have Rob Whoa. Sharon. Talk to Rob oh, really? this morning. Yes, he what? Be on the show. Wow, and mention that he's going to be one of our honorees for the gala. Yes, yes. And, and you're going um, to have the gentleman that we met at the Indian restaurant. Um, Maybe. I don't remember his name. Was it Chris? Oh, the one, the young kid with the hat, the guy at the Indian. Oh restaurant. yes, 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 yes. You're gonna have fun. And also, I'm going to have a hypnotherapist from from Ireland. Wow. Yeah, we're going to have some fun. Well, that's I need 46 people just to replace one cella, or just to kind of sub for cella. Please Chella's support. like 12 people in one body. OMG. What? Please support the body mechanic by calling into the show next week between 2 and 4. The number's on the bottom of your screen, and show them some love. Yes, because, you know, I'm very shy. I need as much attention as I possibly can get. Hopefully, I'll get to do some flotation before the show. I'm going to be on the beach. Yes, I bet you will. 
<laughs> I bet you will be on the beach. I want to go dancing. So, I bet you will. I want to go shopping. I want to buy jewelry. Yeah, I know you will. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just bring me back some sand. All right, I'll do that. Yeah, do that. Give Papa Dukes a hug and a kiss and the body. Uh, oh, and Mama Duke, squeeze it real hard for me, at least 30 seconds. So for the radio show next week, Body Mechanic, what are you going to do? Um, on the radio show, well, we're going to have a bunch of healers. Oh, the same guys? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I meant to tell you, while we were talking to the young ladies before, we got a text. We were invited to go on a cruise in May. A cruise? Mm-hmm. We were invited to go on a cruise in May with some very special people that we know. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Let me tell you who it is. Uh, who is it? I'll tell you. We can I already it. know who it is. You do? <laughs> you mean on a cruise? No. Oh. No, no, no. Wait, but people, like who? I'll tell you later. A cruise? A cruise in May. And it's very inexpensive. Oh, somebody I know? We know, yes. Who knew the person first? Me. I'll give you a hint. What? She's a healer. Does she have blonde hair? <laughs> Can okay. I get a witness? <laughs> so anyway, um, I just want to remind our listeners that we are having this March 6th gala with about 10 or 12 honorees. I lost count. Yes. And we're extremely excited. And I also want to put a, a, a request out there. If you own a company that you want to show off any of your wares, I'm looking for Chinese auction items, uh, baskets, what have you, any products you have please give us a call. Our number is 202-627-0273. That number again is 202-627-0273. Yes, for our event. Yes. Oh, my God. Such a great, such a great venue. It's, it's expansive. It's, we're gonna, it's gonna be Body Shop Blue. It's, it's gonna be popping. I also want, you know, unfortunately, she didn't show up tonight, but the last 15 minutes of our show today, we're supposed to have uh, Renee Joshua Porter. Right. She's going to be starting her show right after us next week. Oh, after my after the show that I'm okay. Right, Excellent. and her show is I believe it's called "Work with Working with What You Got," because so many people don't feel they can accomplish so many things or feats because they're lacking. They need other things, right? And you really don't. Yeah, everything comes from within. I, I truly believe that. I mean, so just. She's going to show that you can accomplish with what you have. And then she's going to end her show with some sort of cooking uh, display. What do you mean, like? Like, sh like, like sh eggnog pound cake? No. <laughs> like chocolate pretzels? No, she's going to do, next week she's going to do a, um, a shake without using any dairy products. A shake? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Don't be like shakes, Chella. Yes, we do, body mechanic. We do. Chella, did you do your squats this morning? No, I didn't. Let me tell you why. Why? I was packing, and I, I'm not a good packer. You know, I'm like, when I pack, I, I pack, I'm all over the house, you know, pulling things from here, 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 and there, and I couldn't concentrate on anything else, but I, wanted, I didn't want to forget anything. So well, I didn't. it's really interesting because you're going to a place that's in the States, and if you need anything down there, clothing-wise, you can always just pick something up, which you probably will do a lot of. So... Does, does one of those bags expand? <laughs> Tell it goes with one bag, comes back with six. My mom will give me a bag if I need to. Oh, she will? Yeah. Your mom likes to shop? Yeah, she does. Wow. She's a smart shopper. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. So um, I also want to um, give lots of love and kisses and hugs to Janine, who just recently lost her husband. The body mechanic and I had the opportunity to meet him and his family just this past Monday. He was battling cancer. And um, I'm, I'm, I, I'm so happy that we had that opportunity. It was very short. The body mechanic was able to massage him, and we gave him a fresh veggie juice, and he, he perked up. And, yes, yes. Um, it's just unfortunate that cancer took him away. So I uh, just want to give lots of love to his family and his beautiful wife. He's a great guy, Big A. Rest in peace. Yes, rest in peace. 
So with that said, body mechanic, I'm going to miss you. Hope you have an awesome week. You're not going to miss me. You're traveling with, you know, Nelsie. Oh, not Nelsina. No, she's taking to the airport. <laughs> oh, she is? Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's up, Nelsina? With Mr. Bowtie. No, not Mr. Bowtie. No. Mr. Fancy Tie. Franz. Um, yeah, Franz. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Good friends, good friends. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. are you going to love hard and kiss long? Uh, I, I'm just going to float and, and, and kiss the salt water. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, the biomechanic is floating in one hour. I can't wait. Oh, good. <laughs> what an experience. Yes, absolutely. Oh, experience. I also have some bee pollen for, for Mom Dukes and oh, Dad good. Dukes. I got you a nice Thank you. bag. I also got you the green stuff. Oh, good. Thank you. Yes. I, I, I kept back the pine pollen because I didn't want anything crazy going on. Yes, too much. Too yes, much. Yes, yes, yes. A little bit at a time. Yeah. Health takes a plan. And especially in these challenging times of fake foods and everything, you have to know what you're putting in your body. Yep. And the other thing is this, you really have to hydrate. I don't know how to stress hydration. It's something that we should always spend at least a few minutes during every show so that it becomes commonplace in your repertoire. A dry body, disease sets in. It's just that simple. And nothing hydrates the body better than water. You know that, Chella. Yep, big time. Did your, did your cup come with the lip? lip the lip gloss on it? Is Three, it 305. It, that's 305? Mm -hmm. No, it didn't. I put that on there. Smarty I did some things. research in the 305. What'd you find it's out? It's more like 1493.5. What'd you find out? Oh, let me get me started. <laughs> it's all good. <sighs> so, Chella, um, are you having a hard time? When are you oh, coming back? Now she's here. She's here. It's too late. We gotta, oh. we gotta say goodbye. We can't have... we do a minute? How, many, how much time do we have? Um, how much time? Andy, how much time? We, we have, have five, five minutes? minutes? Oh, all right. So let's make, go to commercial real commercial quick. Commercial real quick. We'll bring her in real quick. Yeah. And when we come back, we'll be hearing from Renee Joshua Porter. Yes. YesWeCare.net is a 501c3 charity that provides help to veterans and their families. Please visit YesWeCare.net and donate in any way you can by purchasing our beautiful frame prints or relaxation CDs and DVDs, even smooth jazz CDs. YesWeCare.net. Remember, our troops are on their way home. They need all the support they can get. YesWeCare.net. Welcome back to Body Shop TV. My name is Shella. And I'm the Body Mechanic NYC. Oh, sorry, the bee pollen's in my mouth. And we have Renee Joshua Porter with us. Welcome, Renee. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Tell us all about your show that's going to be launching next week, right after ours. Working with what you got. Talk about it, girl. And it's a show that's going to empower people to take the knot out of their mind. Mm -hmm. You have more than you think you have. You have more talent, you have more ability, you have more resources, you have more strength, you have more food to cook. You have more than you think you have, and that's what we hope to do. We hope to empower you to let you know that you can work with what you got. That's awesome. God, my IQ just went up four notches. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's awesome. Your show's going to be after ours? Yes. Yes, yes. Thank you to my dear friend, Chella. And I'm well, no, you know it. what? Not after ours. 6.30. 6.30. Right, because exactly. the engineer is going to take a, a dinner break after hours. Yeah? At 6.30. Yeah. Cool. So we're excited. So. <laughs> she said they got to eat. <laughs> <laughs> and you're also going to do a, a cooking component? Yes. At the end of every show, we're going to be able to give you a real recipe and a life recipe. At the end. So I'm loving you it. You said life or live? Life. Life. A life recipe. A life recipe. I'm loving mm -hmm. it. So you can be able to walk away with some real tools, some real nuggets on how to make this thing happen, how to exist, That's and have cool. that abundant life. That but you not chicken have. McNuggets. No nuggets. <laughs> All right, just check it. We don't do nuggets. Okay, we I'm... don't do nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> right, have you ever seen that video? What's inside of a chicken McNugget? Oh, it's horrendous. Ooh, horrendous. No, everything we do is is holistic. It's nutrient dense, right? 
I'm talking yeah. your language. That's right. Oh, I'm yeah. talking your language. I'm, I'm so excited. I can't even talk. Look at my boobs jumping here. Jeez, I think I want to do some push ups. Jesus Christ. No, do the squats. <laughs> you know, wait, wait a minute. How long have you known her? Many, many years. Many years? Man, many years. I'm making my pollen shake. <laughs> well, I'm excited. Good. Me good. too. I'm yeah. excited. We're this gonna have a awesome. good time, and hopefully, you guys will get a chance to come on too. Oh, absolutely. Because I know you have a lot of life recipes. Yes. yes. I sure do. Yeah. <laughs> so I've come share. back from the brink. Okay. You can rejuvenate your body at any point. Doesn't make a difference where you are in the health spectrum. You can always make your body better. Wow. To find homeostasis. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Get us into shape. Whip us into shape, body mechanic. Do you Come work out? It. I do. I do. Not as much as I need to, but I have been getting better. Last year, I did my first 5K. I was so excited. Mm. So this year, I'm hoping to like do like a full marathon or something. Wow. I'm trying. Wow. I'm trying, trying. You're training marathon. for it? Um, I'm moving for it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she I'm is moving. funny. I'm moving. <laughs> I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. That's it. Y'all was in the day. same school laughing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, well, Renee, thank you for joining us today. I'm so glad me. for you. We thank wish you. you the best with your launch next Absolutely. week. Thank you. How long is your show going to be? An hour, 6.30 to 7.30. Well, Body Mechanic, this is it. Yes. This is it. Have an awesome week. Love hard and kiss long. Body Shop Sandwich is rocking, as you can see. <laughs> Have a great awesome. week. We'll be right. We'll see you next week. Yes.